I'm definitely going to rethink walking to my car alone. Greenville police are now investigating a series of armed robberies that happened in the city last night. Here's what we know about it. We're talking about four robberies in four hours. And take a look. We have a map to show you just how close these were to each other. Police say all of the victims were held at gunpoint and they were told to cough up their wallets. Tonight, they're still searching for the two men who they believe are responsible for these crimes. As 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin explains, police believe they're all related. A flood of calls coming into police Tuesday night, one after another after another. Each time it was a different man calling to say he was held at gunpoint and robbed. They were all kind of close to each other on the east side of Greenville. According to Greenville police, the chaos started around 10 o'clock at the Ivy Apartments on Century Drive. Two men reportedly pulled a gun and demanded cash, stealing that resident's wallet. Fast forward an hour. At the Bell Roper Mountain Apartments, a man carrying his groceries into his home was also robbed at gunpoint. Police say the men were likely sitting in their car, watching and waiting for someone to walk through the parking lot alone. And that's when they went after them. Many neighbors at the Bell Roper Mountain Apartments say they hadn't heard of any commotion. I'm just, like, completely completely shocked and are now thinking twice about walking in the dark alone. I leave my apartment early in the morning with the sun being down, so that's really scary to know. At about 1230 in the morning, the third robbery happened in the parking lot in front of Tippet Back Sports Grill on Pelham Road. Police say a man had just left the bar and parted ways with his girlfriend. The violence later ended just before 2 in the morning when another man was robbed walking from his car to the Courtyard Marriott on Orchard Park Drive. Police say hardly any witnesses were around and the men were all alone when they were targeted. It's always a good idea to walk with other people to and from a bar or to your house if you have that opportunity. That was our Kirsten Glavin reporting, and the police say their next step is to check out surveillance video to see if they can get a better description of the two men they're looking for. No one was hurt, fortunately, in any of these robberies. We have an update to a story.